Hello grade 9, I hope you and your families are healthy. Today you will solve one exercise from the official exam of 2012, session 1. Second exercise, functioning galvanic cell. The galvanic cell converts the energy of spontaneous redox reaction into electricity. It is used as a source of electric power. The electrons flow through the external circuit from the anode to the cathode. The schemas 1 and 2 even below represent the zinc copper galvanic cell. So this is before functioning because the switch is open, so the circuit is not closed and the reactions are not happening. And during functioning, we notice that one metal copper, the copper strip, is thickening and this means that the ions Cu2 plus are becoming metal Cu and depositing from the solution to the metal strip. So they are gaining electrons. This means they are doing a reduction. And this is the cathode. So this logical reasoning, we need to do it always in this type of exercises. The strip that is thickening to the deposit, the ions are becoming metals, thus gaining electron in reduction, and this is the cathode. The opposite is true here. Even before reading the questions, I can do this on the scratch. Zn is becoming Zn2 plus by losing two electrons. This is oxidation and set n is the anode. Describe the construction of the galvanic cell represented by schema 1. How is the galvanic cell constructed? We have two beakers. The first beaker contains a solution of copper ions and in it is dipped a copper strip. In the second beaker is a solution of Zn2 plus ions with a Zn strip. The two beakers are related, are connected with the bridge, and the two strips are connected with electric wires and a light bulb. Question 2. The galvanic cell is set to function. Write the half reaction that takes place at the cathode and the half reaction that takes place at the anode of this galvanic cell. Since we have studied which one is the anode and which one is the cathode, we write the half reaction happening at the anode is that n becoming two electrons plus that n two plus, and at the cathode we have C two plus plus two electrons is becoming C. We choose the equation of the overall reaction. The overall reaction is the sum of the two half reactions. However, before adding, we need to make sure that the number of electrons is the same. If it's not the same, then we need to multiply one or maybe both half reactions by a coefficient to make the number of electrons the same. However, here both are exchanging two electrons, so we just add them and the full reaction is CO2 plus plus Zn gives Cu plus Zn to plus. The salt bridge contains gelified ammonium nitrate solution and H4 plus and O3 minus. Explain why the O3 minus ions move towards the anodic half cell. Sometimes they might not tell us what's happening. They might ask us about which ions will migrate towards the anode. So the anions and O3- will move to the anode. Why? Because at the anode we have more production of positive ions. So to keep the electrical neutrality of this half cell, more anions will move to counteract the increase in the cations in this half cell. We will stop at this question because the other questions are not required.